Hi guys, Shane's here. Um, as promised, I'm going to show you how to do the beaded, my beaded swing bridge element for your layouts or mini pages. And that's how it goes. And obviously, um, just to show you, I'm doing it on a white piece of cardstock with red thread, but you obviously use whatever you want. Um, this is just so you can see it. So to start off with, I'm going to have my swing bridge coming from the right, from the top right, swinging down to the um, bottom left. So, and for, in order for me to do that, I've got to flip the page over and measure on the left hand side. I've got to measure one eighth of an inch from the from the side from the edge uh, over. So that's one eighth of an inch in, and draw draw a line. One eighth of an inch from the bottom up, draw a line. Okay, and then this is three quarters of an inch. This is just a marker for me. And then what I do is from that corner where those two lines meet, I put that next to it like that there and mark every three quarters of an inch going all the way along. And when I get up to have to do the top half, I start like that. I don't bring it down to the edge of the page like that. I actually start like that, one eighth of an inch on that line. That line there, and then go up. Okay, so just to co and I cover that again. This is going to be so my swing bridge is on the right side of the page. If you wanted it to swing from the top left down to the right, you'd have to do it on the opposite side when you turn it over because you've got to, um, you've got to mark from the back. It's just easier. Um, there is another way to do it. You can, if you use a light enough pencil, and do it from the right, on the right side of the page, and do it how I'm, on, I'm doing. It. If you want it swinging this way, from the top left down to the bottom right. If you want it swinging like that on your layout, it's from the top left down to the bottom right. But for this one, because I've marked all the back of it doing that, it's going to come from the top right down to the bottom left. You'll see what I mean when it's done. Okay guys, I've used red thread just so that you can see this and use embroidery thread because I've tried using cotton and it tangles all the time. So what I did, just recapping that again, I marked along one um, three quarters of an inch all the way along one side and three quarters of an inch all the way along the bottom. Right, so this I'm pretending I'm doing this, so I'm doing this from the opposite side, and this is going to be my good side. So I start by putting my needle down that way and through that first mark and pull it. Pull the cotton all the way through. And then just um, tie it off or use sticky tape and I'm just going to use sticky tape so it doesn't bother me at all okay and this is where you put your beads on okay so you thread how many beads you want on um, I think I used four on my layout but you can use double that it would look it would look good too but you know as many three beads as you want thread them on now before you do your next but next but so now pretending that I put my beads on I go to the opposite corner that's where we started that's the line of dots up this end this is the line of dots down this end remembering that's my bad side this is the good side I bring my needle and I bring it to the last hole on the bottom row okay the last hole and push it through push it through and remember don't pull it tight tight not yet anyway and now what we do we thread it from there okay it's gone along the bottom of the page like that and it's come out the back of the page like that we push it back through the next hole so 
so we've gone along the page here like that it's like that we've gone through and come through the back side of the paper like that now we push it through the next hole and always keep that top the thread the thread on the bottom side of the on the bottom side of your string so keep it that side of the string not not the other side am i making sense surely okay so keep it that side of the string as it is there not the other side because it'll just make a mess and pull it through and this is this is the time you put more beads on Okay, so it looks like that at the back, and it looks like that at the front. Come on, Shona. It's like that at the front. Okay, and now we go up to the right, the, the other side of the page, and we come in through, go down into the next hole. Go down into that hole. Pull it all the way through. Okay. So it's starting to look like that. Now with it, where it's come out here, you turn over and you go back up. Where you've just, see, you go back up there into the next hole. So the back looks like this. You've got thread there and thread there. And it's only the front right side of the page that you should have the string going right across. And this is where you put your beads in next, your next lot of beads. Okay, now we go across the page to the next hole. And this is the bottom side of the page. Push it in. Pull it through. And don't forget... You've already just added beads. Every time you come along the top side of the page, you're adding beads. And now we push it through. Remember, keeping on the um, top side of the the top side of the cotton, not that side. You've got to make sure the cotton is over it like that, and pull it through. And do your beading. I'll show you a couple more times and then I'll fast forward. Push it through. Push it back through now into that next hole and put your beads on. The beads go on now and you're back in through this, this other hole, keeping that side of the remember always staying on the top side of those on the top side of those strings. Pull it through. Now back up through there on the top side and pull. Back through the bottom, back through, remember you should have put your beads on by now, pulling it through. Okay. 
Whenever you go into the page, you come out the page on the next hole. So wherever you go in, you come out the next hole. Go in down the bottom. Having your beads already put on too, by the way, remember. Don't worry about the tightness of this because it will loosen up. Provided you haven't gone horrifically tight on it. By the time you put it on, um, you back it onto a proper piece of board, it will lay flat. Believe me, it does. Even though it looks like I've done it a bit tight here. Okay, I'm going to stop it and carry on and I'll be back. Remember, I'm always going underneath these when I thread it through. Up through the next one. This is the last line. Down through the last one. Remember, Every time it's on top, the cotton is on top, and before you you go in from the right side, you've got to put your beads on. And that is it, my friends. That's it. All you do is cut off the back, tie a knot, or tie a knot, or use some sticky tape and tie it off. And there it is. cotton's broken. Anyway, that's it there guys. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate. Give me a holler and um, I'll do my best and help you out and get it right. That should be a bit tighter. I've done it a bit loose. But yeah, any questions, just give me a holler and until my next vid, take it easy, take care and we'll catch you next time. See ya!